Hi guys, so this week I wanted to introduce you to my new space, a natural health centre in Narbeth. Now if you're not local to West Wales, I also take on clients from all over the world and we meet on Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, FaceTime or Skype. But in an essence, we meet in, in this beautiful space together. This week, I wanted to have a chat to you about naturopathy because very often I get asked what is naturopathy and then my clients say all the amazing things they do in and their friends go you are doing amazing what you're doing and they say I'm seeing a naturopathic practitioner and then they say what is naturopathy so let's just take some time and have a bit of a chat about what is naturopathy so the allopathic world is where most people are aware of that is your normal medicine I don't like to use the word normal, but that is what normal medicine is. It's Western medicine, allopathic medicine. And then over here you get naturopathic medicine. And they're two very different things, an allopathic world and the naturopathic world. Just think of them as two different worlds. I want to become the bridge between those worlds. I don't want you to think that you can either be in this world or this world. There is a bridge between those two worlds and the bridge is really important because you can't jump from one camp to the other. It's about stepping stones to create a sustainable healing journey. Now what do I mean by that? Well let's have a bit of a chat. So if I had a goldfish bowl in front of me here and in there the goldfish was looking a bit unwell, his fin was a bit floppy and just looked generally not very good. I could come over here and take it to an allopathic practitioner and the allopathic practitioner would get the fish out think oh that fin doesn't look very good let's take a bit of it off so it'll chop a bit of the fin off maybe that looks a bit infected let's give it some antibiotics so it would actually be taking things away and putting objects inside such as antibiotics or medication then come over here that same fish in that same bowl would go to the naturopathic practitioner. The naturopathic practitioner would look at the fish, look at the fin, but then, just as importantly, would look inside the bowl, would look what was in the bowl, what quality the water was like, and would inquire about where does that bowl sit, what interacts with the bowl. So the naturopath would look at the whole environment and the treatment plan would be based on that. Now naturopathy means nature cure. So it's always looking at taking the body back to its natural state. And I always bring naturopathy back to the natural world. For me, our internal nature is a result of our external nature. So what do I mean by that? What's going on inside is what we tend to look at what's going on outside. Because two different people can be in exactly the same environment but look at them very differently depending on the state that they are in. So naturopathy goes internal and looks at what's going on. If there's symptoms arising, well why is your body choosing to create those symptoms? It's just a conversation with you. Those symptoms are your body's language to tell you what is going on. So it's remembering that yes, we have Mother Earth, we are on Earth, and Earth as a population, and like the Earth, we are also our own Earth, and inside of us, we have our own population. We have around 75 trillion cells inside of us. Some books say 50, some books say 100. Who's counted? I don't know. but. Just, can you even imagine that, that number, 75 trillion cells, and our cells are our internal population. And we have a state at the moment of people having global warming in their bodies, inflammation going on in their bodies. And that is because their population isn't happy, their cells aren't happy. So it's a case of looking at the internal rivers, how polluted are those internal rivers, the circulation system, is the cholesterol in the way, how clean is the blood, what's the pH balance in the body, what's the pH balance of your internal soil. 
So as I said, it's looking at your body as a whole terrain, not just isolating it. In the allopathic world, you might go to a gastroenterologist, then you might go to an endocrinologist, and so on and so on. At very rarely do you see a doctor that encompasses the whole body. Now a naturopath looks at the body as one system as one being but then also hones in at cellular level what is going on at cellular level and then a naturopathic treatment plan there's loads of different things that encompasses that so i always start with hydration because everything starts with hydration but just as importantly looking at the electrolyte balance so by hydration don't just mean water it's looking at everything that's part of that hydration looking at the electrolyte balance in the cell looking at how much water is in the body how can we get more water not just through the obvious water but through swollen foods to increase that swollen message and calm everything down also looking at food as well. So we look at food as part of hydration, but also looking at food as a general term. There's no one diet that suits all. Diets always do what they trends. The plant-based is really popular at the moment. Veganism is really popular. You may think of those as the same thing. Keto is really popular, but whatever diet you do, it's just a label. And there's a way of doing a healthy and a very unhealthy version of that same label, the same diet. So it's looking at, okay, at this moment in time what environment is your internal world and what environment is your external world and what's sustainable for you and what diet would make you thrive and you might like to look at the word diet as lifestyle because it's not just a diet short term it's looking at how can I get your lifestyle to be as thriving as vibrant as possible and then it's looking at purposeful supplementation and that key word there is purposeful because let's be fair, I don't want to be giving you a very expensive bowel movement and just moving through the body and coming out in urine or in your poo and that just being a complete waste of money and your body not absorbing it. So it's all about that word purposeful supplementation. And then the last part is naturopathic techniques. And that could be physical techniques, such as castor oil pack into the liver, body brushing, teaching you to do enemas at home. It could be looking at conscious and unconscious thoughts, looking at conscious, unconscious writing to get out what you need to get out. It could be ways of expressing emotion. It could be meditation. So there's a whole host of things that come under naturopathic techniques. But it's all about bringing your body back to that natural state because your cells are programmed for longevity and by that I mean they are programmed to survive and they will do anything to survive and if you put them in an environment that's unnatural and let's be fair the majority of us these days put ourselves in an unnatural environment they have no choice than to put systems in place to try and survive and it's those systems that sometimes create symptoms in us that we don't like and what we sometimes do is go to the allopathic world slap a plaster onto it by taking the medication but you take that plaster away and it's still there the naturopathic practitioner is looking at the root cause looking deeper well why is that there what is the body doing why is the body putting that system in place what environment has the body been exposed to so constantly go into the roots thinking of the tree going deep into the roots looking at the earth looking at the soil looking at the water those roots are absorbing looking at what trees are surrounded with looking at any plants that are around that tree are any of those plants taking away its nutrients looking at the whole picture.